So now let's look at how to create email automation workflows or sequences here on Active Campaign. So before we go ahead and create our own email automation workflow, I want to quickly show you an example to make you understand exactly how this works. So here is an example of a simple email automation workflow with the goal to get your contacts to sign up for a phone consultation. So every automation starts with a trigger or just something that will trigger this automation for a specific contact. So in this case, uh, this would be somebody signs up in a form. So submits any form, as you can see here. Once this takes place, then this automation will begin. The first step of this automation will be an email, which will be sent out to the contact that signed up through the form, letting them know that they can set up a phone consultation. So this would be just a simple email. Then the automation will wait for two days, as you can see here, the wait block. And then after the two days, this automation will check if the contact has the tag call scheduled, because when the call is scheduled, then the contact will automatically get the tag call scheduled and the automation will know that and know exactly which way the contact should go now. Should it just end this automation because the call is actually scheduled and the goal of this automation is complete? Or if the tag doesn't exist on the contact, it means that uh, this person hasn't scheduled a call yet. So we need to send out a reminder to schedule the call. So then it just goes to the no. So this is kind of an if and else block here. So if the tag doesn't exist, it goes to the no way here. And then the reminder email will be sent out to this lead to actually go ahead and schedule the call. Now, after this email, the automation will, will end, as you can see here, with this end this automation block. But if you want to, you can just check again if the tag exists and then send another reminder email so you can do this. Um, basically infinitely. But this is a very simple automation with the goal to have somebody schedule a call. Great. So now that we know what email automations are, let's set up our own email automation workflow. So let's go to automations on the left side menu and then let's click on create automation here on the top right. Then we can either start from scratch or we can use a pre-made automation for specific goals like follow-up automations or uh, interest tagging automations, an upgrade incentive and outreach automation. So we can get some inspiration here, but we're just going to start from scratch. So I'm going to click on start from scratch here, click on continue. Then, like I said before, every automation starts with an event, like a trigger. So what I'm going to build here is just a simple welcome email automation sequence. So the automation will start whenever somebody signs up to my email list. So what I'm going to use as a trigger is just subscribes to a list. And then we have to define what list uh, this contact subscribed to. So let's just do master contact list here and let's have this only run once then if you want we can also segment contacts entering this automation we're just gonna uh, not do this for now and click on start and then here we can choose the first action in this automation workflow so something that i like to do is i like to tag people that come from a specific place so let's say i have a funnel that is about email marketing and then i want people to have the tag email marketing so that i know that these people are interested in email marketing and in the future when i have something to uh, inform them about or promote then I know who will be interested in a specific product about email marketing. So to add the tag, we just go to contacts and then I'm going to click on add a tag, which is going to be the first action in this automation. I'm going to add the tag email marketing, which I've already created here in Active Campaign. Then I'm going to click save and this is going to be the first action. So all that happens is people sign up to the list and they get the tag email marketing. Obviously, that only makes sense when everybody who goes to this list uh, is actually interested in email marketing. Otherwise, it, the tag doesn't make sense. Now, the next action, we can just click on the plus icon and then add the next action in this automation. Let's send them an email. So let's click on sending options and then click on send an email. Now we can create this email. So we can just type in, let's say, welcome email. 
And then we could start with a template or use a past campaign. Let's just create a new one here, start with a template. Then let's use the text only editor, click on continue, click on start from scratch. Then here I'm just gonna leave the from name this is okay then let's say welcome and then let's say we're we have been giving away a checklist here's your or let's say here's what you requested and then click on continue and then here obviously you would just want to um type the email give them what they signed up for and basically welcome them to our list then let's click on next once the email is finished then here review your campaign once that's done click on finish and then we can choose to have this email sent immediately when somebody signs up to the email list which makes sense for the welcome email or you can also use predictive sending which has like active campaign learns when people open their emails the most so it will just predict when would be the best time to send this email but for the welcome email i want to send it immediately so i'm gonna save this here so now we've set up the beginning of this email automation sequence with the welcome email now the beauty about email automations is that we can send people down different avenues depending on how or if they interact with our email campaigns so for example what i could do now is have active campaign check if the contact actually opened the email within two days and if the contact didn't then i can just send them the same email again with a different subject line or if they have opened the email within two days i will just send them the next email and then the next email and so on so to do that we could just go to the plus sign here and then let's go to conditions and workflow and click on the wait block. Then we could either just wait for a specific period of time until the next action will be triggered. Or in my case, I wanna wait until a specific condition is met. So I'm gonna click on this option. And then I wanna check if I'm gonna go to actions here and I'm gonna click on has opened because I wanna check if the email was opened. I can leave this to any email or you could just select your specific campaign, but we only have one email so far, so any email is fine. And then I'm gonna check this here and then I'm gonna have this be checked for two days. So after two days, no matter what happens, the automation is just gonna continue after two days. Then I'm gonna click on save. Now again, if the contact doesn't open the email, then the automation will wait for two days. But as soon as the email is opened, the, the automation will continue here with the next block that I can add now. So let's add an if else block here under conditions and workflow. Let's click on if else. And then I'm gonna check the same thing again. So I'm gonna do actions has opened and do any email save. So now after two days, if the email wasn't opened, it will just continue to this block and then it will go down to the no um, avenue here because the email wasn't opened and we're checking this again with this block if the email was opened it will go down the yes road so what are we going to do if somebody doesn't open the email so we're just going to click on the plus sign here then we're going to just go to sending options send an email and then we're going to create another email so let's just do welcome email follow up this is just for you your uh, subscribers are not going to see what you um, type in here follow up and then let's just start with the template and then create the same email again with a different subject line or even create a, a totally new email. So now I've added the second welcome email, which is the follow-up email for everybody who hasn't opened the first one, which is this here. Then we want to check again. Uh, we want to give them some time to open any of our first two welcome emails. So we're going to click on the plus sign again. Then we're going to go to conditions and workflow click on wait then again choose wait until specific conditions are met and i'm going to do the same thing actions has opened any email and then we're going to do this for let's say we're going to give them another let's say seven days to see and open any of our two emails and then click on save then once the um, conditions are met or the time is um, has run out we're going to go to if else again and we're going to check if somebody has opened the email, save. 
And then if isn't the case, if no email was opened, then I can basically assume that this person isn't really interested in what I am sending them or that this was a fake email and I don't want to have it on my list. So if the answer is no, I'm just gonna go to contacts and then I'm gonna click on unsubscribe to um, remove this person from my list because I don't want to have any inactive contacts on my list. It's just gonna hurt my deliverability rates in the long run. So I just remove those people if they're not active or interested. If the answer is yes, then we can just move them back to the main road here where they get some follow-up emails, giving them more information and maybe at some point following up with a promotion of a product. So here, what we could do for people who have opened the email, we just go to the plus sign here. Then we wanna wait. We don't, so we don't wanna send the next email immediately after they've opened. So we're gonna click on sending options or actually conditions and workflow, click on wait. And we're just gonna wait. So let's say we're just gonna wait for one day, click on save. And then after one day, we're gonna send the next email. So I'm gonna just click on the plus sign, sending options, send email. And then we can do the same thing again. So we can add another, let's say we can add another wait block and let's say we wait for another two days, save. And then we add another email here or we segment again. So everybody who has clicked on a link, we're gonna give them a specific tag or whatever you wanna do here in this automation. Now here, as you can see, uh, this, this string is not really connecting to this one. So we need to actually add the people who have who had a bit longer to open the first email to also get to this string here where they receive the follow-up emails. So we're gonna click on the plus sign here and then we're gonna click on go to and this way we can just connect different blocks. So go to and then we're gonna go to the wait for one day. So whenever somebody doesn't open the email right away, they will get to the follow-up email. And whenever they open any email, they will get to this second string where they will just receive the follow-up emails. So this was just an example. And obviously there's a million other automations you could build with ActiveCampaign. So whenever you don't know how to build something, I would highly recommend to just click on this support icon here on the bottom right and ask Active Campaign to help you out to build your workflow that you have in mind. Because it can be really overwhelming, especially with Active Campaign, because they give you so many options. So once you are finished with setting up your workflow, you wanna also activate it. So you wanna click on activate here on the top right to make sure it actually triggers when somebody signs up to your email list.